Today we have another broccoli haired donkey TikToker who decides to walk into a restaurant, find people who can defend themselves, decides to start a whole chemistry class in a restaurant and then walk out and play it cool as if he does this every day, as if he's a super villain of every major superhero movie. And then once he finishes filming, he's like, oh my God, I, I can't believe I got it. Oh my, oh my God, that was so cool. I'm going to post it and I'm finally going to be loved. Now, one thing I can't stand is restaurant employees getting harassed and abused. It's everywhere, all over social media. Everyone's attacking every drama, every situation is uh, with a restaurant employee when was the last time you saw a retailer in a store getting harassed like this and for some reason these prank donkeys always go after the restaurant employees we don't know why it's still a mystery to everyone on why only the restaurant employees are getting attacked and pranked and harassed and etc now i'm trying my best not to say what i actually want to say because i'm gonna get banned there are so much curse words it's they want to come out but they're being held down i'm holding my curse words just like you hold your fart in the elevator once you have people around you and there's no way you can let it out now why am i so pissed and angry i have a first of all i have a very huge headache because two hours ago i woke up first thing i did i went to brush my teeth i had a very huge spit I spat around half a liter of blood coming out of my throat. For those of you who tune in on the stream, you know my personal shit. You know that I shisha five times a day, around eight hours a day. And I'm having one of those scare moments where it is an attempt to quit, but it is going to be smoking only on occasional basis. So at this time, I usually have my second shisha, but I'm not because I'm only going to be smoking on special occasions now because I would like to see once I'm 40. I, I don't want to die th this soon. And for those of you who have tried to quit smoking or you actually quit smoking, you know how the process is. You see a child in front of you and they cry for no reason or scream for no reason at all. You are going to kick them just like your, your Ronaldo in 2006, not Cristiano Ronaldo, the Ronaldo from Brazil with the crooked teeth and a very bad haircut. Remember that goal where he shot the ball and the ball went like windy and it went left and right? That's going to be the child going left and right. And once the mom starts screaming because her child is flying in the air, you, you, your head cannot handle another scream. So you just elbow her and she gets knocked out. I'm sure everyone went through this one stage try to quit smoking now out of all the words i want to tell this guy we're just gonna call him a mother coffee some of you understand what i just said if you're iranian if you're persian this is this guy's tiktok page wolfie kalheli supreme villain bro thinks he's the villain of tiktok and he only has like seven eight videos because he actually i'm pretty sure he got banned on his other channels now this donkey's first video was actually funny it was like a bro to bro type of prank there was i didn't see anything wrong with it somebody left their underwear like right in there shit bro like, it's just crazy you have <laughs> but the second you decide to go to someone's workplace ruin their work ruin their mood potentially get them fired that is when you become a og donkey he also posted this last month on his tiktok where he just goes and he sits and he just pranks the woman with having a doll here i don't really find the point of it being funny at the end of the day people have different type of humor this is something i don't understand but we're not judging this is harmless this is not ruining anyone's work no one's getting fired for this it's just a harmless plank fine but the first video that we watched this is when he decided to th take things up a notch and at this point it is not a harmless prank anymore because not only they will be at risk of getting fired if the manager is like or the owner is like an asshole but they will also be spending a lot of time cleaning it up because once you put ice in a hot oil boiling water this is what happens
So if it was time for them to go home, nope. They gotta stay in and they gotta clean it up. And after a while, once they're done, they can finally go home. Oh, for what? Oh, for 25 seconds of clout. And honestly, he shouldn't be named the supreme villain of TikTok. There's only one title for him and it is called the loser of TikTok. It fits him much, much better. On TikTok, he got a little bit of backlash from it, but on Twitter, he got a lot of backlash. A lot of people on TikTok are saying, this gotta go viral. Appreciate you. Bro, I love this. The alarm at the end. The biggest minutes. And the people commenting these things, they've definitely never worked a day in their lives. They're probably school kids, broccoli hairs, just watching TikToks during their break or during their class and just having a laugh about it. And once they become that age and they get an actual job, that is when this thing is no longer funny because they understand the situation that these poor people were in. Now, you might think, Kush, this might be a sickness. This might not be a humor. You're absolutely right. It is a sickness. It is called the donkey syndrome. And one thing these pranksters, they do is they don't go after someone who can actually whoop their ass because the ones who did, who sacrificed their life on doing it on someone who can actually defend himself, they've dealt with the consequences, but these guys only go after the harmless. I don't even think that was for views. I feel like he just does this on normal basis. He just throws cake at people, the, probably cakes that he steals from supermarkets. And uh, this time he decided to, you know what? Let me just film it anyways. Let me see if people are as weird as me. <laughs> now there's no news or updates about what's going to happen to this guy. Probably nothing. Maybe, maybe, maybe the restaurant might press some charges. It's still, uh, this video was posted just like a few days ago, so... But he's obviously going to be doing more dumb shit with coming up if nothing actually happens to him and he thinks he can get away with it, so he's just gonna go forward. He's not very consistent with it, but I'm pretty sure one of these days, one dumb video is going to pop up and he is going to get jailed for like two to five years. Now, we still don't have that victory, but there are other types of victory we can have is if he heals from his donkey... Uh, TikTok syndrome. Now, unfortunately, the donkey TikTok syndrome only has one solution, one fixation. It is a slap in the face. It is a juicy slap with a spit on it, on a face, and there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to get well from this donkey syndrome. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care of yourself. <laughs> you you, th you think we're done? If you do not click on one of these videos, you're gay. Straightness disappearing in three, two, one.